All right, so that was a very brief introduction to the reference architecture. It's still being discussed, um, but the basic principles are as, as they've as has been um, described there. And now we move on to the security and privacy subgroup. Uh, this is not an area where I'm as expert as in some of the others, so I will not do it as much justice. But this is a very uh, thoughtful, systematic approach, which I found a pretty good way of understanding all the difficult things we have to do uh, to make the make this work secure. So it has exactly the same uh, generic um, requirements, and then is tasked at the gate to basically. Look all over the various stakeholders, the users and the providers and the developers, and get all the different security and privacy concerns from all, in all aspects of big data. Try to analyze them <coughs> in terms of special challenges, classify their special challenges, look at the round 10. This is, these are special use cases coming from this group which are different from the broader use cases which are gathered by the requirements of use case uh, subgroup. And then we want to develop a security and privilege architecture to describe how these various concerns uh, can be or should be implemented and overlaid onto the uh, uh, reference architecture for the whole um, big data processing. So previously, a big data working group from the Cloud Security Alliance, they identified the top 10 big data uh, challenges. And these, uh, we will see these on the next slide. And this, the nice thing about both these slides is they really not only write down 10 challenges, they tell you where they are in the architecture. Um, so, we have here a whole bunch of devices, and um, here we have the different, um, here's challenge four, end-to-end -end input validation and filtering. Um, so four occurs here and here. The compute cluster has a whole bunch of these challenges. Um, Ten is data provenance, that's uh, giving track of everything that's going on. Um, uh, here we have a, a SQL uh, database, to, um, or just data storage. It's all in our public, private, or hybrid public, private cloud. And uh, so we, these are the different components of the big data processing, the data streaming in, um, it be, the system being tracked, data being stored, data running on clouds and clusters being, being accessed. I will go through these actual, uh, what these 10 are on the next slide. All right, so here are these um, 10 uh, challenges, and they're classified into four areas. Infrastructure security, and that is involves trying to do computations that are secure in distributed programming frameworks, and also for um, Best practice outside uh, relational databases, because uh, HDFS and NoSQL has its own special challenges, not addressed necessarily by the database community. Privacy is particularly important. It involves uh, keeping commercial secrets uh, uh, properly uh, far wall to the companies that own those commercial secrets. It requires uh, for health applications uh, keeping. Uh, keeping things private, and uh, so you need to be able to understand how to do data mining and analytics to do uh, preserving pr privacy. It's well known that if you're um, not careful, you can produce results which can be reverse engineered to find out actually who was involved, which people were in the data analysis, because some people have very distinctive uh, uh, Correlations, say particularly unusual diseases or particular critical technology, proprietary technologies, which allow them to be identified. Um, so there are things, um, ways of trying to do uh, 
data-centric security to keep the data secure using cryptography. The question is what the performance implications are. And we need to have access control, which has enough granularity that you allow people who should have access, access, and we are able to provide a um, role-based or similar um, authorization that, uh, does, that stops people who shouldn't be able to do something from doing it. We have to actually manage the data um, with proper logs, which are secure, and audit it. And then we already mentioned on the previous slide the importance of provenance. Part of the security is knowing what you did to the data. It's not just stopping from other people from looking at it. You better know, better be able to look at you yourself and know what happened. And <clears throat> we need to do an end, the validation at the beginning and at the end, and monitor the security in real time. So those are those ten challenges, which are classified into these four areas. So this uh, subgroup, uh, which I was not involved in, so, uh, um, so it's not really my field of expertise. But at least I understand these uh, use cases. Uh, we have uh, retail, e-commerce, um, then we have things like Nielsen Home Scan that must have some security issues, so privacy issues as to web traffic analysis. How much, how much of the data can be exposed, or how much, how much should be, uh, should the analyze and the analytics be uh, prevented from looking at? Healthcare has a lot of important privacy issues, and also some issues about trial data, what can be shared and what can't be, and to what extent you can actually exchange data, or whether it needs to be kept proprietary to each um, healthcare provider. Cybersecurity is a generic term to describe the security of network systems, and is of growing importance. Another use case is the government, with military especially, is critical. And I must admit I'm not quite certain what the education use case is, except obviously universities are very nervous about, um, about keeping, because they, they essentially uh, have a lot of students they're responsible for. They need to be very careful that the information is properly disseminated and only given to people who need it, and is not given to people who don't need it. And there are three military, three military use cases in the 51 we present later. And all of those have critical security, starting at the, the sensor gathering the data, maybe in the war front, back to the, uh, uh, through the network, network um, Transmission, the processing, and the final dis the final access to the, de the process data. Uh, so here is uh, superimposed on the basic reference architecture these various um, uh, categories of um, challenges um, are uh, listed and uh, with and also with some more detail. Endpoint input validation obviously starts here with the data provider. This has to be screened in real time as it's um, streamed into the into the uh, analytics, and uh, we may need to aggregate data that has to be done in a secure fashion. Um, when we consume it, we have to worry about freedom of freedom of information issues, compliant with compliance with uh, regulations like HIPAA. And uh, using analytics that do not give away information that should not be given in an in a incidental fashion. And uh, here we have all the uh, security issues connected with the actual uh, processing of the data. And here we have issues connected to storing the data. And um, while it's running, we have to worry about uh, denial of service DOS attacks. And you know, all of this has to have provenance attached to it. So that's how the reference architecture is mapped uh, into some of the key security areas.